Hello and welcome you watching the Wednesday edition of This is Exclusive with me, Shavan Sen. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a massive war of words within the Mahayuti. The entire alliance has now cracked open just because of the decision that has been taken by Ajit Pawar to field Daud Kang linked Nawab Malik. Ladies and gentlemen, this after a clear ultimatum was given by the Bharatiya Janta Party to Ajit Pawar that he cannot induct Nawab Malik. But despite that, in the last 24 hours, this is what has happened in Maharashtra. Nawab Malik has been fielded by Ajit Pawar. Countering that is Eknath Shinde fielding his own candidates from two very constituencies, countering Nawab Malik and his daughter. All this and much more in this edition of This is Exclusive. But first, let's take you through the headlines we are tracking at this hour. Cracks and crevices within the Mahayuti now out in the open. Clear face-off over Daud-linked politician Nawab Malik. First response from Maharashtra, Minister says Mahayuti is not going to support Daud-linked politician Nawab Malik. Accused number two in Reduka Swabi murder case gets interim bail on medical grounds. India-China complete disengagement process at the line of actual control patrolling to commence soon. Twenty-eight lakh lamps to illuminate Ayodhya Dipotsav. Grand celebrations begin in Ramkinagri. He has alleged Daud links, man who sold land to Daud Ibrahim's family. Controversial politician Nawab Malik has not only been inducted by NCP's Ajit Pawar, but has also been given a ticket. This has now become the reason for an all-out war within the Mahayuti. Mahavikas Agadi training their guns at uh, Eknath Shinde as well as Devendra Pandavas asking a question that do you really have the high moral ground to actually go ahead and say that Nawab Malik is a person who does not have any charges against him. Let's take you through what led to this major fight and what are the repercussions of it on the ground. Here, as far as Nawab Malik's criminal past is concerned, ladies and gentlemen, let's just quickly take you through the allegations of money laundering that has been linked to Daud Ibrahim. So here is a man who's been with Sharad Pawar for a very long time and has now been charged with this. The case has been initiated from an NIA FIR under the UPA in February 2022. Let's take you through the details of the case that, that has now emerged and why there is a direct link with Daud Ibrahim. This is what has been leveled against him, the charges. Allegedly brought land from Hasina Parker, Daud's sister, using terror-related funds. These are the charges that have been leveled against uh, Nawab Malik. Transaction from Gawal, a compound occurred between 2003 and 2005. Now, this very land piece that we are talking about, the charge that was leveled by the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Tivindra Fadavis, that this particular land was basically given away to Nawab Malik. Now, what's really important to point out here is the fact that you have, he has been accused of uh, illegally acquiring Munira Plumber's property via Solidus Investments Private Limited. So this is how the money basically moved. So it goes to the gang. Acquisition facilitated by the D-gang members, particularly Hasida Parker. Hasida Parker happens to be Dawood Ibrahim's sister. Malik's companies reportedly earned about 11 crore rupees from D-gang now. These are the charges that have been leveled by the central agencies as far as the proceeds of crimes are concerned. And because of which, Nawab Malik was arrested. Now, that's the criminal past of Nawab Malik. Let's take you through the other charges, the detailed charges that we put together before we, we have our guest joining us. He's been charged for money laundering, charged under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Let's take you through the other charges that Nawab Malik faces and the reason why. A tainted person who's now been given a ticket becomes 
a rather bigger problem for the Mahayuti. Property that has been usurped, accused of illegally acquiring property through collusion with criminal networks. That's the other charge that has been leveled against Nawab Malik. Terror financing, alleged use of funds that have been linked to D-gang members for potential terror activities. Third charge that has been leveled, apart from money laundering. D-gang links, accusations of financial dealings with Hasira Parker and other associates of Dawood Ibrahim. Central agencies say that there is a direct link. Nawab Malik has refuted these the charges. These are the links that have been leveled these charges that have been leveled against Nawab Malik. Let's talk about the politics behind it. Nawab Malik, who recently was seen with Ajit Pawar in a meeting that took place in Mumbai. And thereafter, the BJP had sent out a very strong message. Devendra Fandavis, in fact, had written to Ajit Pawar saying that you cannot induct Nawab Malik. In a very surreptitious manner, you have Ajit Pawar bringing in Nawab Malik into the fold that has resulted in to an all-out war. And countering Nawab Malik is none other than the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Eknath Shinde. Manisha Kayande of the Shiva Sena has now responded to this all-out war that is taking place in the Mahayuti. Who is your official candidate for Mahayukti for Mankhur Shivajinagar constituency? See, we have given our ticket to Suresh Patil. Hence, Suresh Patil is the official candidate for Shiv Sena. Okay. Is uh, NCP is, uh, in your alliance now? Well, uh, NCP needs to decide about that. And uh, I heard NCP's uh, Sana Malik. Sana Malik for Anushakti Nagar and NCP's Nawab Malik for this constituency. See, Nawab Malik, uh, I just came to know that he has got the uh, AB form, but uh, our reservation stands the same. BJP and Shiv Sena opinion on Nawab Malik is not going to change and um, uh, we will try to come at a, a common decision regarding it. We will wait up to 4th. Up to 4th, what will be? Uh... Because 4th is a withdrawal. And let's see whether Ajit Pawar, because he is from Ajit Pawar's party. Mm -hmm. So we will, uh, but our stand remains the same. What do you th think? Nawab Malik will withdraw her candidate? He should withdraw his candidature. He should withdraw his candidature. But Ajit Pawar uh, uh, backs uh, him and but Ajit Pawar is with him. We will cross the bridge when we come to it. We will wait up to fourth till the withdrawal and let's see what happens after that. Is there any discussion going on, on your in your, your alliance uh, regarding Nawab Malik candidature? Well, these details uh, will be uh, released soon. Right now, I don't have any details, but definitely the three party leaders are in communication with, with each other wherever such um, situations have arisen. Now the main question is the same alliance, the same constituency and NCP is giving their candidate and you are giving your candidate, two candidates from same alliance, from same constituency, whether alliance is there or not? Well, alliance is definitely there. See, on 99% of the seats, everything is fine. Now, wherever there is, when, when three parties contest together, aspirations of local leaders, are also very important and uh, there is chance they know that till the withdrawal things always change and this happens during every election it is not new it is not surprising even in Mahayuti you see in Mahavika Sagadi what is happening they have filed candidates against each other in almost 10 to 12 places in, in Mahayuti that is not the situation here the situation is very much under control 99% uh, the seats are given amicably. But here the situation is different because uh, for Nawab Malik and teacher, BJP has cleared their position. They are saying they are not campaigning for uh, Nawab Malik. We will not campaign for uh, Nawab Malik. We have filed our own candidate. So obviously no, uh, no uh, issue of uh, campaigning for Nawab Malik. But what is uh, the supporters? What uh, message uh, giving you? You are doing all this. So what, uh, what is the message no, giving? We, we are going to support our candidate. Obviously, Shiv Sena is going to support Shiv Sena candidate. Our party workers will work for Shiv Sena candidate. Even the BJP. Because see, 
uh, you are asking me the same question again and again different ways my my stand is not going to change neither my party stand is going to change you are only saying that uh, wait for fourth yes of course we have to wait for fourth i can uh, i can't tell you today is just the 30th and you are insisting that you want the answer now i cannot give you i'm not insi now. insisting you because nawab malik uh, is so confident and he is saying he is saying i am not bother who will support me or not he says, what he says is not he is not the person he is the candidate of ncp who is your alliance what he should speak is not under my control so you should you his stand you have taken my stand i have given from my party